Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This is a monthly love reading for the sign of Scorpio uh, from now for the next 30 days. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does, feel free to drop a comment down below and to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Spirit and guides, please connect me with all of my Scorpios in love at this time and tell me what's currently going on in Scorpio's love life right now. And the predictive outcome for Scorpio's love life from now for the next 30 days. What's currently going on in Scorpio's love life at this time? That's your card. Could be dealing with another Scorpio as well. Death card. Something has come to an end. That's for sure. You guys are going through an ending Something has come to an end, and I feel like as well, you know, where things come to an end, something new, there is a new beginning out coming in. I feel like whatever ending this is, it's like it's, it's really, you're really going through this transformation as well. Like there's something within yourself that um, is changing because of this ending. It's, I'm getting like a big life change. Like this is, this ending is a big life change. Could be a big life lesson as well for some of you. Spirit, tell me about the death card. Give me one more for my Scorpios. Uh, the five of wands. Yeah, there's, a, there's been an end to a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing. I feel like whoever you've been dealing with, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a struggle between you and this person. It's been almost like a battle. It's like the both of you's never seen eye to eye on things. There was a lot of tension, a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing, a lot of struggle. Whatever, however it is, um, however it resonates for you, could have been a fire sign as well. For some of you, it's like a, there was a lot of competition. Whether it's competition with other people or whether it's just competition in, ge in general. Maybe, you know, maybe this person just um, didn't like to see you do better than them. So it was all, you always felt like you were in competition with them. However it is. Tell me more about the death card and the five of wands. Two of cups. Yeah, I feel like this person... Um, I feel like you had. I feel like the, the love was mutual between the both of you. I feel like you've been dealing with this person for quite some time. And that's why, you know, this ending could be a struggle for you at this time, for some of you. It's like you're struggling to end things for good, for some of you. Because, you know, you've known this person for so long, or you've been with this person for so long, and you have these strong feelings for one another. And it's so hard to let this go for good could have been a water sign or a fire sign what happened in the past between scorpio and this person spirit give me one card eight of swords feeling stuck Things possibly, um, there was a lot of like being held back. It could even be emotionally. Maybe you can never express your emotions. Maybe this person controlled you. Um, you know, maybe you just didn't see this coming the way this person truly was or what this person really did to you. You know, everyone's situation is different. Tell me about the Eight of Swords of what happened in the past with Scorpio and this person. Virgo energy. Could have been a Virgo as well. Feeling isolated. I feel like there's a strong energy of feeling like very, like isolated. Feeling very restricted. Feeling like, you know, this person was really never there for you. 
You know, when you needed this person most, you didn't really have this person there. Yes, there were feelings there. The feelings were mutual, but it's like this person really, they never, they weren't there for you. They weren't really there for you is what I'm getting. It's like you were always, you were always, you know, on your own is what I'm getting. For some of you, it's like maybe you spent more times by yourself than you did with this person. So let's see, what's going to be the outcome, the predictive outcome for Scorpio and this person, or Scorpio, Scorpio and their love life for that matter, from now for the next 30 days. What's the predictive outcome for Scorpio's love life from now for the next 30 days? Six of Wands, so that's good. There's some sort of victory coming out of this. I feel like the struggle is coming to an end. And within from now for the next 30 days, <clears throat> there's a lot, there's an energy of overcoming this battle. There's something that you're going to be overcoming here. And you're going to be coming out of this a lot stronger than how you, than how you've been. Tell me about the six of wands for Scorpio spirit. Clarify the six of wands. Three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are moving in a new direction you're finally going to realize that you can do it that you have um it's like that you've you've got or you've been victorious out of the situation in some way that you've made it And that you're not looking back. It's like you just want to move forward. You want to start this new chapter in your life moving forward. There's a strong sense in like in like your ego itself in the next 30 days, Scorpio. There's you're feeling very proud of the choice or the decision you've made. You're feeling very proud. You feel like you're gonna get um victory out of this choice and you're not looking back see give me one more on the six of wands and the three of wands for scorpio yeah the wheel of fortune there's a turning point here there's some luck coming your way scorpio in this decision of not looking back, of moving things forward, going, you know, going to the next phase or going to the next chapter in your life, there's more ahead of you than you had behind you is what I'm seeing. There's a lot more things um, to gain right in front of you moving forward and things are going to turn out good for you with that wheel of fortune. There's a turning point here where you're going, where, where luck is going to be on your side. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this reading resonated and I'll see you guys again.